Good morning, friends. I'm very happy to be with you once again on the third Sunday of Lent. Father John Hines at St. Catherine of Siena Parish in the Diocese of Wilmington. As they speak, innocent people are being killed, wounded, and rendered homeless in the suffering country of Ukraine by rockets and bombs and other weapons of war. In the Gospel, Jesus speaks of something similar, the massacre of a group of pilgrims by Pontius Pilate, the governor. And he did it for the same reason that Putin and Russia does it, to increase his control and power. Jesus asks us if these people who died were any worse sinners. And of course, our immediate answer is no, not at all. He then says, take heed, there's something worse. Jesus loves those whom he is speaking to. And his plea for them is repent. Something worse than Pilate's sword could cut them down. He speaks of separation from God, sin. In the massacre and other tragedies, he begs us, like the violence to people in Ukraine, is a call to ourselves to repent. First of all, to care about our brother and sister, to care for the widow and the orphan, to value more highly the work for justice, which leads to lasting peace, and to realize that for us here and now, this justice means economic sanctions, which will mean uh, a rise in costs and prices for us, but necessary if we're going to carry through on our help to the suffering people. But Jesus' further call and profounder is to repentance in the depths of our souls. He is the gardener, as he says, restoring the barren fig tree by digging and infusing manure so that the tree will bring forth fruit and uh, will not have to be cut down. The fruit of kindness, gentleness, love, joy, peace, patience, and especially the works of mercy. This is a special time of the year. It's the time of repentance. We're in the middle of Lent. And it's a time when we actively seek the gift of seeing ourselves in the light of God's mercy, seeing ourselves in need of repentance, a time to identify our hardness of heart and to make courageous and conscientious decisions about how we will live our life, about our repentance. I urge you to do this, to pursue this active, conscientious, valiant search within yourselves and to bring it to fruition through the sacrament of reconciliation. Confessions in our own parish are Saturdays from 6 till 6.50 in the evening. And we will have a special reconciliation Monday on Monday of Holy Week in April. And of course, all these confessions are available by appointment. Jesus sought the human heart in everything he did. Out of love, he warns us and implores us, repent, believe in the gospel, come out of the desert of self-centeredness into the fertile land to join him, the true vine, the gardener who brings forth fruit from the barren tree. God bless you, give you a very good week, full of his peace, his grace, his mercy, and his joy.